Uh, Alright. So, what are we doing? We're going to check on farm stuff. Jump into the void. Uh, it might be a while before we get to the void. <laughs> Have to go to the end for that. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know how many hundreds of hours it is before we'll, we'll, we'll be seeing the end dimension. I'm pretty sure we see that in the progression for this pack. I just... I don't know. It might be a while. Uh, but in the meantime, progression. Let's eat some asparagus. Alright. Got that out of our inventory. Um, so, one thing is this needs to be here. And we need to break the crops. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because I think what's going to happen, like, over here, is that this is going to spawn a weed, right? Because it doesn't have a crossed crop stick. But I don't think that can spread at all to fully grown crops. I could be wrong. I guess let's leave it and find out. What are we going to lose? We're going to lose a couple seeds. Uh, what's this over here? Oh, yeah, this is a weed. Right, so that, that already happened, but it, I don't think it's going to destroy these. So let's leave it and find out. Um, oh, wait, I have one crop here. We'll do that. We'll use this one over here as an experiment to see if the weed spreads. So this one, all right, so we got a couple of wheats and another unknown seed. So we're up to three. We're going for how many? I like... I've seen this before, but I like how we, apparently we know it, it's an unknown seed, but the game knows that it's an oak bonsai seed. So that's really good once we can figure that out, because we should be able to plant it on the crop sticks and get wood. We can just automate the growth of wood. Uh, but anyway, yeah, what was I doing? I was trying to figure out how many of these we needed. We need eight, All right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We, we don't even need to fill this row. So maybe we can get there pretty soon if we. Uh, okay. It's a seed, but it's not a it's not a seed bag. There we go. There's a seed bag. Four. Four. Five. And some barley. We have some barley planted over here. No, that's rye. Didn't. Oh yeah, it's right here. Barley. Is that a different barley? Pam's Harvest Craft. Yeah, it's same barley. All right. Um, and this one here. Yeah. Oh, it's interesting. It's uh, we get two of the same kind. So we need two more. I mean, we don't know what they are, but they're the same kind, whatever they are. Uh, and. We're out of crop sticks, but we can reuse some of the ones we have, right? Let's take this one and put it here. And then take this one, and put it there. Take this one and put it, where are we missing one? Ah, here, cool. All right, so we'll let that go for a minute. So what was the reward? Uh, oh right, so we can pick, if we get two more unknown seed bags, we can pick 32 crops, which seems more useful now. In, in retrospect, the other one that had a reward of uh, 64 crops. I mean, on the other hand, I think, I think we'll be able to complete this one with the thing we got from the loot bag. So maybe it all worked out. Um, or 16 nether work. What do we, I mean, obviously Villanelle Minecraft like potions, but maybe there's something else that we can use uh, the nether wart for that might be uh, really good right now. <laughs> Not gonna be doing that anytime soon. I don't know, that might be good. I mean, we should be able to get it once we get to the nether, but I don't know how far that is away. Does it give us a hint here of why would we want uh, another work? Filing cabinets, interesting. 
They make storing and moving large quantities of seeds a breeze. A breeze. Plus, they will probably sort the seeds based on name. Filing cabinets, huh? Okay, how do we make that? I L I N G. So we have a filing cabinet and filing cabinet advanced. Okay, so we got some plates. We've already made a, a, a good number of those already. Some steel screws, apparently. It has to be steel. That's kind of unfortunate. Because that means steel. <laughs> okay. So that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I guess I should bookmark it though, so I don't forget. Here we go. Hmm. Or use double chest and toss the ones you don't. Sure. Until like the next quest, you'll need the LV scanner. So that uh, LV here, for those that don't know, um, stands for low voltage, and it's one of the progression tiers in the pack. So we're currently uh, just starting the steam age. The next age after this is the low voltage age. And it goes like low voltage, medium voltage, high voltage, extreme, insane, ludicrous. Uh, and then it gives up on the vol whole voltage thing, a zero point module. And then I think it's ultra and ultra high, I think is what those stand for. Anyway, we, we are, a long ways away from any of that. Um, probably dozens of hours away from low voltage too. <laughs> Realistically. Um, but let's do this. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go hide inside for a minute. And let's take a look at what we need to do in terms of steam stuff, right? So we, we made the small coal, coal boiler that's over here in this chest waiting to be used. It's an early way to get steam power, produces 120 liters of steam per second, causes 20 pollution per second. So a thing, a thing to figure out is like, I think pollution is bad for crops. I could be wrong, but I think that's true. We may not want to set up our steam industry where we're trying to grow stuff. Just, just a thought. Um, but where do we go from here? Oh yeah, this is where we made the hopper. Yeah, that's right. So we can use steam to cook things. I think that's not quite as important as going this way, more advanced alloys. So we need to make a bricked bronze hull and a steam alloy smelter. Did I bookmark those things? I did. So we do need bronze, which we have been working on and with. Uh, how much bronze do we have left? We have 15 bronze ingots. Now, if you look at the bricked bronze hull, it needs a plate. It needs five plates. Each plate needs two ingots. So that's 10 ingots, uh, a hammer and some bricks. And the bricks we can do, they're um, not quite as easy as vanilla, but we can still do them. We just need unfired clay bricks. So we need clay and wooden forms. We have that. So it's, it's eight of these. So it's eight per um, brick, right? Oh, no, no, it's four, because this makes two. Okay. But we do need three, so it's still 16 clay. Um, no, I don't have clay in here. I think it's out here, if we have any left. Oh, I have some bricks. Okay, okay. So we just need eight more bricks. wooden forms as it so happens we have some left there we go okay um 
And then we need 10 br uh, bronze ingots. Nine, 10. Using a significant portion of the bronze that we've made thus far. And uh, I don't need to be carrying around seeds with me. Ah, there's the hammer. All right, so the hammer goes above. All right. And we do need some water. Maybe we can uh, check in on the farms while we're coming down this way. Have the weed spread? Have we gotten our other seed uh, bags? <laughs> uh, so here's a, a mature thing that we can uh, destroy. There we go. There we go. One more. One more. Um, these are still growing. That one's still growing. That one is still growing. Um, well, we don't need multiple weeds for our test. Hmm. Okay. All right. We can put this in here then. There we go. That can grow something else. So right now, we don't have any uh, crop sticks that are bare that could be colonized by weeds, right? So when we come back here, uh, hopefully we'll just see this one weed here and it's not spread or destroyed anything. I think that's how it works. Just doing a little experiment to make sure that that is actually how it works. In the meantime, more prick blocks. Okay, uh, what else did we need? Is that, oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. There we go. One bricked bronze hall for your first steam machines, which means I think we're gonna have to make a, several of these, but there's the first one. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's complete. And then the steam alloy smelter uh, needs two furnaces, two furni, uh, six small bronze fluid pipes, and the thing we just made. So, did we already make uh, any of that? We are going to want this handy. I thought we had made some of the pipes, but perhaps not. Unless they threw them out in the chest out here. Looks like no. All right, so how do we make those pipes? Okay. So we use our tools that we have and uh, six more bronze plates. So that's 12 more bronze ingots. And we have five. So uh, how do we get bronze again? So we can cast it from olden bronze and we can get that from copper and tin. Okay. So the good news is we have copper and tin here. Uh, what is the what is the proportion though? Let's see. Oops. R R. Make sure I'm looking at the right bronze. There we go. And then it is uh, three to one. Three copper to one ten. And it's, it's probably gonna make sense to do 
Uh, let's do 18 and 6. To do in bulk, right? That's going to be more efficient for the smeltery. Although there is copper in there. There is at least one ingot. So I'll do, but there's no 10, right? Just iron. Okay, so we'll do this. Hey, that all fits. Great. Oops. Helps if I don't. Apparently, uh, hovering over this and doing a mouse wheel uh, pulls them out. Okay, so. Great. So now we should have lots of bronze. Lots of bronze. Um, for those of you in the know, like, have used tinkers before and are like, why haven't you put a lever here to automate this so it'll just auto pour? Uh, well, unfortunately, levers in this are hard to make. It's not just a piece of cobblestone and a stick. I was looking at this uh, between streams because I was thinking of the same thing. Uh, and it's like, okay, well, it is a stick and a button, but it is it is, <laughs> it is a stone button. Um, so it's not a piece of stone to make. No, 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 you need a pressure plate and a saw, but a pressure plate is made with a spring <laughs> and stone slabs and iron screws. So, uh, yeah, it's not quite so simple. There we go, we got 18 bronze ingots. What a simple machine, I mean, that that is this pack. Everything of this that, that you could think of is like, oh, well, you just take, you know, oh, well, a pickaxe in Minecraft, you just take some cobblestone and you take a stick, a couple of sticks, and you put it together and you have a picket. Nope. Does it work? Uh, actually, let's, let's continue that thought, right? So a lever, again, a lever, a button, a pressure plate, uh, uh, iron spring. So an iron spring, you need a saw and uh, a wire cutter of some kind and a file or angle grinder or something along those lines and then two iron rods, okay. So so the good news is this is actually, I think, achievable um, without electricity. Uh, not that way though. Here's a wire cutter. Okay, okay, so we can I don't know if we could use a wooden screw. How do you make, okay, okay. So I think, I think we could make a wire cutter right now with the materials we have and without any like electricity or even steam power, we could do that. Um, that's feasible. I need to keep on <laughs> right clicking this though to get the, uh, the bronze out. Since we can't automate it, That's what is so great about this pack though, is that one, it takes all the simple things and makes them a few layers complicated, but then it gives you a bunch of machinery and a bunch of more layers on top. And, and to the point you're building rockets and you're building nuclear reactors and you're building, you know, stargates. <laughs> all the things. How much, uh, how much bronze did I say I, I needed? How much bronze did I say I needed? Um, okay, so six is six. So we need 12, uh, 12 bronze. Well, at least now that I have the sleeping bag, I can, uh, I can just, uh, you know, sleep in place. I don't have to run inside. As long as I remember I have it. You know, 50 hours of, you know, having to remember to run inside and sleep back at the base, you know, it, it's, it builds a habit. Um, 12. We're going for 12. Hmm. We got 10. Eleven. At least with the hopper, right? It, it's doing something for me. <laughs> few less clicks. All right, so now, again, I, I, I keep on second guessing myself as to the, the order of the things, but there we go. Bronze plates, 
And then we make this. Small bronze fluid pipes. And then uh, we need two furnaces, two furni, uh, which needs cobblestone and flint. Now, do I have any flint left? I thought I did, oh, I put it up here. Two, three. Oh, wait, wait, no, because we need two. Uh, four, five, six, there we go. And then some cobblestone, it, some cobblestone. Um, 12, well, that's 16. And two, and that, into that, and there we go, a steam alloy smelter. Yay, quest complete. All right, and so, hey, look, we get four bronze. That is a good reward. All right, uh, real good. Let's put the coins away. Got more technician. We got so many technician coins. What do you use the? What can we use the technician coins for? Um, if we have the assembler, we can upgrade <laughs> the coins. But otherwise, we can use them to get uh, Chad or combine them with blacksmith coins to get some ores. What is the Chad? What is Chad? Uh, okay, so Chad with stone slabs can make paper, apparently. Presumably it doesn't use the stone slabs. So three becomes two. Okay, so if we need a lot of paper, we could use those coins to get paper. All right, let's check in on the farm. How, how is the farm doing? Uh, it's doing. So we need one more unknown seed, and we got it. So, quest complete, quest complete, first breeding. <laughs> uh, no, that's not funny. Uh, so, hey look, and we completed the other quest, by luck. Water, water everywhere. So, even though you have to plant crops near the water, they don't actually get any, hydra any hydration unless you apply water manually. <laughs> you don't? Okay. Uh, make a hydration cell and use it on your crops to increase their growth speed. You can recycle empty cells in a centrifuge. <laughs> As if we could make a centrifuge. We kind of did a little bit of a, uh, a skip there because we got the cell from the loot bag. And now we have two more, we have two more hydration cells that don't stack. Very, very great. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Worthless roots on those plants. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see, I need, I need more space. <laughs> so, so first things first, I I don't need these hydration cells. I'm not gonna use these, I'm pretty sure. Like if we hit um, R to see what the recipe is. Yeah, to like refill these, it looks like we need an extractor. Oh, there's a steam extractor. Okay, maybe these will actually be useful. Okay, and you can centrifuge them to get empty cells. And the empty cells can be converted into things. There's a steam compressor. I don't know, we'll have to figure that out. But I'll, I'll keep these here for now, because I don't have a specific use for them. Um, but yeah, let's keep all of our steam stuff together. So we have the alloy smelter. We'll have to check that out here in a minute. And then the co small coal boiler. Um, and we should make more chests for the seeds, I guess. Because I don't think I'm actually ready to, we need like a scanner to use the seeds. So I, I don't think we're quite ready for that. 
So let's get a chest over. Probably put it over here by the, the crop sticks, yeah? Oh. So we have learned that weeds can spread and destroy adjacent crops. Now, I, I think it is the case that the weed will not be able to spread over to here. Or once it conquers this, I don't know if it will be able to spread diagonally. So let's just leave this uh, situation and see what happens. It's for science. All right, but yeah, whatever this is, we have two of them. <laughs> uh, okay, and we got, a, we got a loot bag. Where did the loot bag go? Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. Um, I don't want to leave an empty crop stick here though. We don't need any more weeds. Uh, let's grab that. There we go. We got another seed bag. Is it similar to the one we already have? Nope. Something different. What could it be? Don't know. Don't. I don't think we have a way of knowing yet. But let's just let's keep going. So, um, was there any? Looks like this one is maybe done. Yep. Okay. Cool. So two more seed bags out of that, and uh, maybe we can get one more or two more here. All right, so uh, what's in the bag? <laughs> Ooh. Now that is something interesting that we can't use. It is a low voltage uh, battery buffer. If only we had power. Oh, hey. <laughs> Uh, maybe we have a little bit of luck. We have a small sodium battery with 5,000 EU in it, voltage 32. So it's LV tier. And we have a solar panel. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. Right. Did, did the game just give me a way to generate electricity? And a way to store it? <laughs> uh, I'm afraid... <laughs> I'm afraid that I'm gonna put that down and it's just gonna explode. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that away for a little bit. I may have to do some testing and creative <laughs> uh, at some point. Uh, we don't have anything to use it on anyway. We don't have anything that needs voltage, but that may be really handy uh, real soon, <laughs> yeah, right? Stuff does explode very easily in this. Um, that's one of the reasons I did not have any, like, solid plans to do, like, multiplayer for the series. <laughs> because there's just so many things that, uh, like, like, we could do multiplayer if, uh, other people, well, one, this is not a server right now, but I, I probably at some point, I'm gonna host this on a server, but people would need to be, have, like, bases thousands of blocks away. <laughs> uh, what was that message? No, I don't, I don't trust you. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't trust me. Um, things are going to explode. It's going to be bad. Um, hopefully not too much though. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So, uh, quest done. A couple of quests done over here. Oh yeah, we didn't get our reward. Did we... Do we want to get another loot bag? Um, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't trust you. You keep heads as a decor. Well, to be fair, it's one head right now. I don't know where the other head went. I felt like I've died more than once, but uh, it's fine. All right, so just waiting for the magical time that it is suddenly officially night, 6.32 p.m. I feel really, really well rested. I have fire resistance and well fed. All right, what's in the bag? It is, okay, okay, that's not actually bad. Um, we got some saplings, some we've had before. Uh, an acacia sapling. I don't know if we have one of those. That, that could be good. Um, a fuse wood sapling. <laughs> we 
What what is a fuse wood uh, tree do? Do you think? It says it has an explosive personality. Uh, and then a dark oak sapling. I think that's pretty useless without three more of those, but hey, it's fine. All right, let's put all that away if we can. Um, I feel like maybe I had a place outside where I was putting. Oh yeah, and uh, so we're gonna need a nigga. We're gonna need need a bigger house. Like when I when I'm look, I have all my stuff out on lawn. It's it's not a, it's not good. Uh, acacia, no no spot for acacia out here. Um, spruce and birch, I think though. Okay, so uh, we did a couple things. What else is there to claim? Oh yeah, we did this one. Apparently one of the seed bags, we don't know which one, but one of them is an oak bonsai seed. Uh, so it tells us, I'm gonna, I mean, I know it's daytime, but I'm gonna step inside. <laughs> so it says you can take vanilla tree saplings and place them directly on crop sticks. This will give you a bonsai tree. Bonsai trees will give you drops just like a tree but without the wasted CPU of placing all the tree blocks just to chop them down again. This can be significant overhead on a server, so if you want to be nice, breed some bonsai trees for your pyrolyze ovens. So that's the thing we don't have yet. Um, they also drop a ton and are fast, especially statted up. So like I said, the seeds have stats. Um, I don't know what the, the abbreviations stand for, but uh, basically you can breed the, uh, the plants on the crop sticks from the seeds and they can cross breed and that can increase stats. So you can selectively breed better and better crops, including bonsai trees. Uh, so there's no reason not to if you can automate them, which we can't, but eventually. Uh, so hydration cells are cool. I don't really know how those work. Fertilizer might be really good. I mean, the crop sticks are kind of annoying to make. We're going through tools really quickly. What's gonna be harder to make, like in the long term? How, what, how do you make fertilizer? So chemical reactor is low voltage. How do we use fertilizer? I feel like that's maybe something we can't even use right now. Maybe we can. I might, I think I'm just gonna leave this unclaimed for now because it doesn't unlock anything else. And we can come back to this one, I know more. Uh, so this tells us if we have 32 unknown seeds, we can uh, use your scanner, right? Okay. So that apparently is unlocked. Weeds. Ooh, there's a weeding trowel. Okay, that's a thing. And that lets us pick up weeds, I guess. Okay, so that's a whole thing. And then... Use your scanner. All right, and so here's the, here's the thing. Plant lens. Someday you'll be able to use a machine to tell them apart and more. But for now you can make a simple plant lens to at least identify species. After using it, you can always tell the following. Species crop tier, whether it can grow, whether you can harvest it, growth stage. Okay, okay. So what does it take to make a plant lens? Okay, things we have uh, and a glass lens. Now the glass lens, <laughs> Okay, needs a diamond and a piece of glass. Um, or a lathe. I feel like this might be challenging. I'm pretty sure we can't just like put a piece of sand in a furnace. Okay, I 
think this is beyond our reach right now. Okay. So we'll we'll come back to that. Uh, let's go back to steam. So we did this. Now, where can I put all the liquids? With your brand new ally smelter. Oh yeah. So, um, when we were looking at multi-block stuff, weeks ago maybe, uh, there was a thing to collect water. Um, I think that'll be relevant here in a second. So, where can I put all the liquids? With your brand new alloy smelter, you're able to combine two materials. What happens if you mix some obsidian dust and thicken glass? Obsidian, glass, great. Your first task uh, that you can make would be a build craft tank. This tank can carry up to 16 buckets of a single fluid. It's possible to upgrade these tanks so they can hold up to 64 buckets. You can also stack the tanks to increase capacity. Like, you put one on top of the other, I think. That's how it works. Um, so this also... Thicken glass, you say. So how do we get clear get glass? Is this also impossible? Molten glass. From glass dust. Tell me I can put um, something I have in here. I mean, it's it tells me glass tier HV. Suggests that this is something I can't do. But maybe I'm missing something. use a dolly and trust him. So unlike the uh, the tank for the Tinker's uh, Construct Smeltery, you can't break it and pick it up on its own. So strengthen glass. We can use none of those things. Okay. Obsidian glass. Here we go. Thicken glass and obsidian dust. Thicken glass. It's made with clear glass. The, the blast furnace is not something we can make. It's gotta be from here, right? Molten glass? What is glass dust? Um, quartz sand and flint dust. I mean, this might be possible. Quartz sand? Hmm, can sand be, Let's see if I hit you on sand. Alloy smelter, okay. Sand and clay in the alloy smelter, we can make cook oven bricks. That could be really handy. Uh, not helpful for the current situation though. Primitive blast furnace is interesting. Copper. Interesting. Electrolyzer. That also requires electricity. It's in the name. Um, oh, hey, look. Sand and a mortar makes quartz dust. Okay, so maybe that is actually feasible. Um, let's take another couple of looks through that. Okay, so glass dust. Let me um, bookmark that. And then, so we, we have quartz sands. It's the one with the question marks here is craftable from sand and a mortar. So bookmark that. And then go back. And the other thing we need is flint dust, which is also hmm, small piles, tiny piles, or tiny piles craftable. There we go. Okay, so tiny piles and small piles. So we need nine flint. 
Okay, so we can make glass. <laughs> we just need a bunch of sand and flint, and we can mortar them all up, and then combine them together, and then put them into the, uh, the smeltery. What, what effect did we get this time? Uh, strength three. That'd be great if we're gonna go out and fight stuff, but we're not. Um, okay, I have a mortar. I got flint. I just need to get some sand. Oh, we're out of sand. All right. Um, sand. Where art thou? Over that way. What time is it? Okay, 6 a.m. Let's go. And hello to people watching. People, people lurking out there. Welcome. Hope you're having a fun Monday evening or whatever time it is for you. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying my exploration of this mod pack. Uh, at the current rate of playing this once a week, I imagine I'll be playing this for the next few years. But that's okay. It's something to do on a Monday night. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a lot to do. I'm really looking forward to getting the... Um... Oh yeah, I still haven't repaired my hatchet. The good news is we did make a bunch of bronze, so that'll be easy. Uh, the next step up from the lunch bag, which is like the lunch box or something like that, which lets you put more food items in. So like this one, you can have three items in it. So I got some strawberries and some tea and some baked potato because those are all food items. <laughs> uh, but the next one up, you can put six items in, which means we can get a full rotation of kinds of food, uh, meaning that we'll be able to uh, just eat out of that and uh, not have any issues with like, oh, that's getting tired of eating the same food, which is what's happening now, right? Uh, you know what I should do? I should be smart about this. Use the torch trick. Now, does that work if there's water? No, not really. Why did the water have to be too thick? <laughs> do I need? Uh, eventually lots. Lots and lots and lots. I always need more sand. Uh, but for right now, probably less than what I have right now is what I need. But uh, since I'm here, I get a bunch. So on the plus side in this pack, unlike some packs that are very hard and grindy, um, we don't have to worry about hydration. Uh, we don't have to worry over much about temperature for survivability. survivability. So I don't have to worry about like hypothermia <laughs> or any of that stuff. I'm thinking of like um, Terra Firma Craft and uh, what is it called? Terra Firma Greg or whatever it is. Where it's like uh, Greg Craft plus ter Terra Firma Craft. Uh, that would be challenging. But I'm, I'm happy with the set of challenges I think we'll face here. <laughs> now, will we, will we get to the end of the pack and make the Stargate? I don't know. Uh, the future is uncertain. But we'll, uh, we'll make a go of <laughs> playing this pack. So I can't take it anymore. Let's 
Let's uh, have an avocado. There we go. Mix it up a little bit. All right, so we got lots of materials. What were we trying to make anyway? <laughs> there was something for a quest, right? We needed a piece of glass to make obsidian glass and the alloy smelter that we haven't even set up yet um, to make a tank. The tank needs one piece of glass. So we really, we just literally need one piece of glass, um, which I think means one glass dust. Let's check that. If I hit U on glass dust, silicon dioxide, and we look over at the smeltery melting, one makes 1,000 millibuckets of so one bucket, which should be enough for a block. It usually is. Yeah, one block. Cool. So we just need one glass dust. So one glass dust is... Um, oh, a tiny pile. Okay. Okay. So it's just one. Oh, well then I had enough sand. <laughs> I misunderstood. All right, so this is uh, not too bad, right? So we'll just mortar that and mortar that and then combine the two together into glass dust. Um, there's this YouTube channel called uh, How to Make Everything, which I've that just reminded me of. If only it was so easy, uh, IRL to make glass that was actually any good. Uh, it is not, but there we go. Hmm. Oh, there goes the game. Just taking a taking a peek at who's in the chat. Hello. Some names I recognize, some that I don't. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Foxy. Lots of love. Alright, I let's put some stuff away here. Now, where are we gonna set up uh, things, things and stuff? Do we wanna live in a tree? <laughs> All right, there we go, molten glass. I'll put that on the bottom so that'll pour out. And we'll pour ourselves some glass. I don't know exactly how far the pollution spreads. Oh, Hogmatics, hello! Hogmatics just rated with 13 <laughs> viewers. Hello, Hogmatics and friends. Welcome, Raiders. There you go, there's the, uh, the Frosty Tools. What, what does Frosty Tools say? <laughs> You're gonna have to raid and lurk. Uh, tonight, gotta do some chores before be bed. Bed, all right. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for dropping off all these great raiders. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Hogmatics is all about the strategic charm, eh? From conquering empires in AOE 4 to Pokemon battles in Stellaris Space West. Seen all of those. Uh, they've got history and geography on lock. TTRPGs, check. Have I seen that? I don't know if I've seen that. Uh, watch Canadian Vibes with a site of trans rights support. Great, you bet. Uh, whether it's CK3 modding or LEGO building, uh, interesting. Every stream's a friendly chat and chill session, yeah? I, I agree with that. Uh, join for Strategy Mondays or Pokemon Saturdays. Always cozy time. I'm not sure if it has all the specifics right, but generally that seems right. Very good Frosty Tools. Good. Good job, bot. Did it do the shout out? I think it did too. All right, so what are we doing besides staring directly into a chest? Uh, much much uh, crafting and smelting and a little bit of mining and I really need to find something different to eat. This is, for those that don't know, Great Tech New Horizons, a very large mod pack based on Minecraft 1.7 um, where I've been playing 
between time on stream and off, about 50 hours. Uh, and we are very early into the pack. That is probably going to be like a 5,000 hour pack. Should I make it to the end, which there are no guarantees in life. But we'll see. Uh, what am I looking for? I just need something different to eat. Gotta have variety. It's the spice of life, you know? Also need to make sure to sleep before something uh, spawns and attacks me. What, what What's with the face, Foxy? <laughs> you have to let me know if I said something weird. Half the time I say stuff and I don't remember five seconds after what I said. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing? Um, so we need to set up steam alloy stuff. Yeah, I mean a little... <laughs> this is this is where where I was while I was reading the thing from, uh, from chat. So yes. What do you mean? We were staring at a chest. We gotta do something besides that, right? We can't do that all the time, Foxy. Uh, <laughs> what, what else do you think I could be referring to? So, uh, we made glass. It was actually pretty easy to do once I actually figured out the steps. But that's, that's always how it goes, right? Uh, I think we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do with... Um, where are we going to set up machinery? And how are we going to set up machinery? And I think we need water? Oh yeah, that's right, water. Um, I think... Where can I put all the liquids? Alloy smelter, you're able to combine two materials. Okay, so this is telling me about the fact that I can leverage the alloy smelter to make the tank. To make the glass to make the tank. But I think the purpose of the tank is maybe to hold water. But there is another quest that I think we should look at first in the multi-block goals, part of the quest book. Uh, we looked at it briefly and it said, nah, it's much more important to do the smeltery stuff, which I think it was. But now that we've done that, we can address the water dilemma. So finding water is a problem. Uh, it's made me like book it out a bunch of the river. Uh, but fear not, there are solutions. Okay, so we need to do all this stuff. And we can uh, make some water tank siding. So that'll be a multi-block structure that is going to give us infinite water over time. Uh, and we get some rewards, including some uh, wooden fluid pipes. That'll be good, uh, hopefully, for our steam age progress. So the first thing we need is we need... Okay, it's not optional either. We need a rubber tree sapling. And then we need a tree tap. So let me bookmark the tree tap. So fortunately, it, well, while it needs a bunch of tools, it's tools we have. Uh, well, we don't have a chainsaw, but we have a saw, which will work. There it is, a saw. And a hammer and a screwdriver and a file. And then we need to make large uh, fluid pipe, uh, small. Okay, so three different sizes of fluid pipes and a wood screw. Uh, but I think first, let's go see if we can find that rubber tree uh, sapling. Do I have one in here? No, okay. So uh, first order of business is actually to repair the hatchet. That fortunately is quite easy. We just need a piece of bronze. There we go. Um, I think I had a rubber tree right here. You can usually tell because they have two leaf blocks on top and they also have little spots on the side. Um, I feel kind of bad about chopping down this one because the, the rubber will come back over time and it's kind of convenient. We're gonna need this. So let's see. Okay, Twitch is telling me we're gonna need to take, take ad break in a minute. Can I find another rubber tree before then? I'm 
Now I could have sworn I had some rubber tree saplings at one point, but the quest is saying that I didn't. Okay, we're gonna chop this down. So that we can hopefully get some saplings. And, uh... Well, I was really hoping for more than one. But one counts? There we go. And we can, I believe, use the rubber wood to get rubber. Although I'm not sure if that is possible right now. I think that might require something we don't have. Yeah, possibly so. Okay, well... I think what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna take a break right here. And when we come back, I'm gonna make tree taps. And we're gonna go hunt down some rubber trees, assuming that one hasn't grown by the time we come back. Um, which it won't, because the game will be paused, because this is a single player. <laughs> um, and, and pursue all that stuff, get some automated water.